Michael King leading his team out there and there are nine service members representing the U.S. Navy, the United States Marine Corps, U.S. Air Force and U.S. Coast Guard. And uh, one of the great traditions in San Diego like no other place uh, across Major League Baseball honoring the military as they do on every military Sunday at Petco Park in San Diego. On the mound for the Padres is Michael King. And hopefully the pitching mound for Michael King is a comfortable one as we take a look at last season with the Yankees. 49 games. He started at nine and uh, the numbers we just talked about much better. Overall numbers though, here's what I look at. 127 strikeouts, not a lot of walks in 104 innings. That's a good sign. Opponents only hitting 226 off the right hander Michael King. Stepping up to the plate for the Giants is Jung Hoo Lee. So a walk and that's how this game gets started. Now here is Jorge Soler deep in the box on the right side and hot shot to the backhand. Kim's got it. There's a second for one. That's all they'll get and he had it long enough on the transition dropping the baseball at second base and we can clearly see as we slow it down right here. It's not so much the play there which is great but look at the throw accurate throw right to the belt buckle there and then on the transfer on the hill today for the Giants will be Dalton Jeffries the right hander. Well he had fits his 2022 following his second Tommy John surgery and Xander Bogarts to short and a bobble for Fitzgerald and that'll be a miscue Bogarts reaches take advantage of any little miscue right here he plays it off to the left off the heel of the glove a very makeable play boy talk about a break here is Fernando we'll take a look at him runner goes swung on and popped up foul off the first base side coming over near the Padre dugout is uh, Wilmer Flores he leans over the railing of the dugout Flips over the dugout as the ball hits off his glove and drops to the floor. Wilmer is on the ground surrounded by Padres players. Some of the Giants come over now as well and they're waving at the Giants medical people. Well, a frightening moment. Wilmer sacrificing his body there to go for that ball. Wow. Well, I'm thrilled to see him back on the field. He pitched the at bat coming and it's lined to left. Conforto was shallow. It's going to be over his head. One hop up into the seats. A ground rule double. And it's second and third with nobody out. And Jake Cronenworth standing in. And that'll get away. From third base comes Bogarts. He will score. Padres take a one nothing lead. He just doesn't squeeze it. It's off the webbing, off the mask. So Manny Machado is coming up. Takes it to right center field. And that'll get down. A gapper to the track of the wall. From third comes Tatis in the second base with an RBI double goes Manny Machado Padres lead it 2 nothing. Oh that sweet swing never gets old. Oh, the 2 nothing advantage for San Diego and here is Hassan Kim. Really charge with the pass ball led to that run by the way as this one is grounded on third baseline on the run and late is Chapman. Kim beats it out the infield single. Machado at second Kim at first and here's Camposano. This year off to a 333 start in the early going. Fly ball to right field, back towards the wall, and gone! Petco Porch, a three run home run for Luis Campusano. His first of 2024 puts the Padres on top 5 0. Just kept carrying and into the Petco Porch. Now that's a crooked number, five spot in the first. One out. First and third for Jake Cronenworth. Jake grounded out to first base in the first. Lines one to right. That'll get down. One hops the wall from third. Merrill will score. Bogart stops at third into second with an RBI. Double goes Jake Cronenworth. And the Padres take a 6 0 lead. Here is Hassan Kim. That's with runners at first and third. High drive, deep left field, down the line. Will it stay fair? Yes, it will. Three run home run. Ha, Song, Kim. Padres take a 9 0 lead. That's awesome, Kim. What's not to love about that kid? Padres have a 9 0 lead through two. And another hit for the Padres. So here's Merrill. Here's a liner into left, and that's going to be a base hit. For the left field corner off the bat of Merrill. Coming around from first is Polly going to try and score. He will. That's 10 runs for the Padres today. And it's Jackson Merrill driving in the 10th. Look at the kids play. Let the kids play. Top of the order now, Xander Bogarts. That is ball four. That is just the first walk allowed today by Giants pitching. Two on, two down for Manny Machado. And it is.
is jolted to right. Mato's back going to be over his head and off the wall. The ricochet is nasty. Merrill will score. Here comes Bogarts on a two run double for Manny Machado. It's 12 0 Padres. The hits and runs just keep coming today. They get three more, have a 12 0 lead. Here's Michael Conforto, fourth inning. 3 2 pitch. That'll miss. Ball four. And the last thing King wanted to do was walk the leadoff hitter here in the fourth inning. It's the fifth walk he's given up in the first three plus innings. Here's Tyro Estrada. High and deep to left. And out of here. Tyro Estrada, towering home run that really carried out there. And the Giants are on the board after the leadoff walk. It's a two run homer. The comeback started in the top of the fourth inning. It's 12 to 2, Padres. Here's Bailey. Wow, another walk. One out, Bailey at first and the top of the order. Chung Hu Lee. 3 2 pitch, and that is ball four. Wow. Seventh walk of the day, handed out by Michael Kang. Jorge Soler now coming up. 1 2 is popped up. Kim backpedaling to the outfield lawn. Still going. Can't catch her. They got a force at third. Throw goes there, and it gets away. I think home plate umpire called infield fly rule. Batter is out. Runners advance their own risk with the. Wow. 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 Melvin just finding that out. And he is asking why the third base umpire didn't make that call. He yeah. didn't make that call. The home plate umpire made that call. Bob disagrees. Obviously. And he's yelling out of the second base umpire, hammering. You know, maybe it was Hammer that made the yep. call. I stand corrected. Huge break for the Padres. Huge. Instead of bases loaded with one out, second and third, two down, and Wade takes strike three called. So after all that, the Giants get just the two runs, and I'm sure they are feeling a little picked on right now. That was a bad, bad call. Here is Matt Chapman. 0 4 3. To short, Kim will go to first. That is the first out, but scoring from third is Soler. And that'll bring up Matos sharply on the ground right to Kim. So another RBI ground ball. It makes it 13 to 4. Bring up Luis Campisano. 2 0 pitch line towards right center, and that'll get in for a base hit. From third comes Kim, and the Padres take a 13 to 4 lead. RBI single for Luis Campisano, who drives in four today. Austin Slater going to pitch it here for Matt Chapman. Off the glove of Peralta, touching second, fired to first, double play, ends the ball game. So the Padres do gain a split in this four-game series with the Giants. Big offensive attack early, and the Padres win this one, a final of 13 to four over the Giants.